Hi students, welcome to Year 11 Chemistry and the Properties and Structures of Matter module. This is part of the Chem 300 series, so the goal with these is to try and explain the concepts in 300 seconds or less, and also to leave you with a few things to do in class, some investigations or some questions that you can discuss, um, carry out some simple experiments or investigations in order to try and clarify your understanding. Since this is the first video, uh, we're going to have a quick look at how matter is classified and some of the different types of mixtures that we might encounter. So first of all, what's in matter? Well, matter is basically separated into two main groups, pure substances and impure substances. The impure substances are primarily going to be the topic of this particular video because that includes the mixtures. Pure substances, which we'll deal with quite a lot in our chemistry course, are further broken down into two main groups. Again, elements such as gold and compounds such as water. Um, both of which are pure substances because they contain only one type of atom or they contain more than one type of atom in a fixed ratio. So elements are one type of atom and compounds are more than one type in a fixed ratio. So we know, for example, that the ratio of hydrogen to oxygen in the water molecule is 2 to 1. If we change that ratio, it's not water. For the purpose of this video, we're going to look, though, at mixtures. Now, mixtures can be one of two types, heterogeneous or homogeneous. The uh, little mud puddle that you're looking at here is really a heterogeneous mixture, a whole mix of things all uh, distributed unequally throughout the mixture. Um, homogeneous mixtures tend to be things more like milk, but we'll get onto those uh, in the next slide. So what's in a mixture? Well, we basically can look at four different types of mixtures, and we'll discuss some of these as we go along. Um, probably the ones that you're most likely to encounter are these ones at the beach. I know sometimes I pop down to the beach and I can see a lot of sand in waves. Sand in the water is a suspension. And the suspension, the suspended particles will actually settle out if you leave them long enough. So the particles will actually drop out of this mixture if we allow it to settle. So the sand isn't always in the waves. It often obviously settles to the bottom, um, but occasionally um, gets stirred up. On the other hand, the water is a solution. That is, it is uh, salt dissolved in water. We call that a uh, solvent the water and the salt a solute dissolving in the water to produce a solution so what are the two others well we have emulsions and emulsions are generally two immiscible liquids such as uh, fats and water and some emulsifying agent some milk is an example of that and also colloids now, colloids are kind of like suspensions, but the suspended particles are so small that they remain and they don't settle out of the uh, solution. Uh, this little sample of pumice is kind of an unusual example, but it gives you an idea of what a colloid looks like. There's a matrix or a main component, uh, which is the rock itself, if you like, and then the, the holes, the spaces, the air spaces are the other material that is equally distributed throughout this particular uh, colloid. So what we're going to be asking you to do in class is to purify matter. That is, we're going to need to work out how we separate the components of a mixture. To do this, we're going to rely on physical properties. But we also need a number of different separation techniques and I will introduce some of those important techniques to you in the next video. Thanks for watching.